Welcome to British Biomedicine Institute. Today we will explore radiation protection and radiation hazard in radio diagnosis. Use of ionizing radiation in medical imaging for diagnostic and interventional purposes has risen dramatically in recent years with the concomitant increase in exposure of patients and health workers to radiation hazards. Radiation is a component of man's physical environment and is broadly classified into ionizing and non-ionizing radiation. The most energetic form and of major public health significance is ionizing radiation. In normal circumstances, 80% of our exposure to ionizing radiation comes from natural sources of which radon gas is by far the most significant, while the other 20% comes from man-made sources, primarily medical x-rays. The adverse health effects of ionizing radiation such as cataract, skin erythema, and cancers among others, are known to vary. According to dose and duration of exposure, it is assumed that there is actually no safe dose of ionizing radiation. Fundamental to radiation protection is the avoidance or reduction of dose using the simple protective measures of time distance and shielding. The duration of exposure should be limited to that necessary, the distance from the source of radiation should be maximized, and the source shielded wherever possible. Personal shielding against more energetic radiation such as gamma radiation is very difficult to achieve as the large mass of shielding material required to properly protect the entire body would make functional movement nearly impossible. To measure personal dose uptake in occupational or emergency exposure for external radiation personal dosimeters are used, and for internal dose to due to ingestion of radioactive contamination bioassay techniques are applied. For radiation protection and dosimetry assessment the International Commission on Radiation Protection ICRP, and International Commission on Radiation Units and Measurements ICRU, publish recommendations and data which is used to calculate the biological effects on the human body of certain levels of radiation and thereby advise acceptable dose uptake limits. Thank you for showing interest in British Biomedicine Institute skilled nano degree program. Hope you have gained a lot of information through this presentation. Please share, like, and subscribe our unique medical channel. Good luck.